Okay, how we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Supreme Ambient Light Rejection Screen Paint. Uh, going to be talking about a few things real quick. Um, so somewhere around the end of the month, you know, hopefully sooner than that, we are going to start the process of shipping out our items. I got the okay on all three ends, so we're good. Um, and also, too, keep in mind that the reason why we have to, we're, we're waiting uh, that long um, apart, long away, is because it's going to take time for us to get items in. So keep in mind, every time I order something, it takes somewhere between, we get a two or three day delay on getting the item in, but at least the item is coming in, so that's good. I'm not going to complain about that. And, you know, like I said, it's because of the whole COVID-19. And, like I said, it's a bit of a struggle. You know, everybody's going through a bit of a struggle. Companies are going through a bit of a struggle to get things back to, um, to a somewhat normal. But, uh, as I said before, because of my uh, respiratory issues, I cannot leave the house and go here and go there at will. Um, I have to be very careful. And I have been inside for quite some time. Um, but I can get items uh, delivered to my home. I also have a few friends that are very good friends of mine. Um, and yes, they are. They all will be keeping their distance. Um, they are going to be going picking up any product or anything I may need. They're going to take care of that for them. So um, I'm going to be paying them to help me out in this. All right. So, uh, so as I said before, getting items in. Like usually, if we got containers, containers would take somewhere like we could get it the next day. Um, now we have to wait maybe two or three days. Uh, for them to come in and like I said I don't mind like I said because I know everything that's going on and I thank those people for taking the time for dropping off packages and delivering stuff that we need to get things done thank you so much for for you know taking the time to do that for us you know what I mean for taking that taking that not saying a risk but you know it's still yeah a risk but you know just what they're doing all together thank you so much all right so what you're seeing right here this is my um this is my um uh, I was doing a demonstration uh, earlier on Facebook, because I do a lot of Facebook live demonstrations over there. Audio link. And this is my uh, Epson 460 uh, projector, a 720p projector. Uh, this projector doesn't have any form of HDMI, so I have to use a converter to do so, to actually run my uh, my Chromecast to the back of it. Um, also, too, um, uh, I can't run my gaming system to the, through this, because for some reason my gaming systems are not compatible with the converter. But with the projector I have in the next room over there, not this one, the other one on the table, that projector does have uh, HDMI, so I can run my PS4 and Xbox One to the back of it, but it needs a stand, so it doesn't have a stand such like that one. I had to order the stand, which won't be here until Wednesday. Now, also, too, we're going to be putting some detailed instructions on our website uh, um, about COVID-19, uh, in those demo, in the, in the detailed instructions, we do advise customers that when you get packages from us, that we do advise you to wipe the packages down or, uh, you can, like I said, wear gloves, please do not touch your face, but wear gloves, open up the packages. You can open up the packages, throw them into a separate trash bag. Um, and we do advise you to do, to wash your hands when you are done. Keep in mind, any packages that come through here, and as I said before, due to my respiratory issues, I had to take things as a level 10 or level 20. You know, I had to, to be very careful. So when any packages come here for me, I go outside with my gloves. Sometimes I may wear a mask. I'll go out there and I'll, depending on how I'm feeling that day, um, I'll go out there and I'll either wipe, the boxes are small enough, I'll wipe them down with a little bleach water. Uh, if they're too big for me to be wiping them down, I'll just cut them out of the box, throw them into a trash bag, and then put them out to the side of the curve. Um, any items that come in here, once they're cut out of the boxes, containers, they're all wiped down, they're all clean, they're all disinfected. Everything is clean coming through here because I can't afford to take that chance. So any packages that leave from here are clean and sterilized, but also to keep in mind on the way of transit, that box that may be traveling from here to there, you know, you don't know what kind of condition it may be in. You should treat the same way that it comes to your mail or anything else that comes through your home. We do advise you, and we will post this on the website, to wipe the box down with some bleach water. If you want to do it that way, you're not going to damage any of the contents inside if the box gets wet. Um, also, too, uh, if you, want, you don't want to do it that way, you can cut it out of the box and put it into a plastic bag and, put, and, put, and dispose of that and then bring those items in the house. We do tell you from the door that um, do not touch your face. Uh, do wash your hands when you get done handling anything whatsoever, just to be on the safe side. All right. 
So it's just things we just want to tell you. Now, keep in mind, for me, I do things on a different level. Maybe some people may think, well, Ken, you're a little bit paranoid. I have respiratory issues. People got to understand that. When I go out there, I'm, I'm, I'm 50%. I'm not even at 100, okay? So I have to be very careful. So even when I bring packages in, when I cut them outside, I cut the boxes out, put them in the trash, I still, because I have gloves on, and that means I touch the box. It means I'll touch that package. I'll go in there and I'll basically wipe down whatever the containers or whatever, just for extra precaution. Just wipe down the containers, because I know I might have touched them with the glove by touching the box. I know it sounds like a lot, but you know, like I said, better safe than sorry. That's what my father used to always say, and I practice that. All right? But, you know, being able to have this technology in your home, and like I said before, more and more people are going to be at home. You know, now that you see the movie industry, you don't really have to go to the movies to watch a movie. They can actually send it to your Xbox. They can send it to your PS4. They can send it to your on-demand. You can watch a movie that was launching a blockbuster movie at home, which means that's kind of interesting. When I talked about a few people and a few form sites about this, and I said, you know what? The movie industry is not losing money. They're making money because the majority of the money they make comes from the concession stand. That's why you can't bring your food in because... They need to be able to have you buy that expensive popcorn and candy and all that stuff they have in there. And that's where a lot of their revenue comes from. Now, if they do this where they're streaming only to customers, keep in mind, you're paying. If you buy the movie, and I bought a few of them, they're 20 bucks. If you stream it, I think it's like 6 or $7, right? And then on top of that, you know, you don't have to drive. You don't have to worry about, you know, the cell phone calls and some of the stuff that people go through. People talking in the background. You know, stuff like that. People kicking the back of your chair, all that crap. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not all bad, but we all have our movie theater horror experiences. We know that. But just think about doing this in the comfort of your home and watching this movie. You know what I mean? And then having our technology to be able to add to that, to give you that true ambient light rejection uh, technology. You can use indoor and outdoor, ultra short throw, long throw. It's up to you. And keep in mind, just because you have that projector doesn't mean you have to be in the dark watch your tv and sports and everything else you want to watch in a fully lit environment now i think the movie industry is going to make more money due to the fact that they're going to be able that somebody sorry about the text messages bouncing back and forth i just came out of a, uh, i just came out of doing a live um demonstration on facebook so a lot of people are chiming in about the screen paint and basically when they're going to be shipping out and stuff like that questions what can they paint it on stuff like that so uh, also to understand that um, with this, the movie industry is not losing money. They're actually making more because now you're tapping into a resource that you never tapped in before. The console gamer who we basically, I myself do a lot of console gaming and I like to watch movies on my system. I have my Netflix, my Hulu. Everything is running through this right there. And that I love it. But the fact that I can go in and I can buy a movie that instead of going to the movie theater and have it home and watch it over here on my screen, my giant screen here or in my screen there, or if I want, I can go outside and sit on my deck in the summertime or well, summertime now. I think it's summertime. I'm not sure. There's Squirrel Boy. There's Squirrel Boy. Hey, Squirrel Boy. This is a squirrel. For those you know who Squirrel Boy is, he's a squirrel I've been feeding since uh, March the 11th. And he's gotten very comfortable. I might have to give him some more bread. Hey, squirrel boy. How you doing, buddy? All right. So and there's my other screen right there that I sat there and watched. That squirrel boy right there. He doesn't damage or tear up the screen or nothing like that. He's a pretty cool dude. Hey, squirrel boy. A little scratching. All right. Closest thing I had to a pet. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah. So this is other stuff I'm working on right now. This is a projector right here I told you about that I'm going to be running my gaming system through it because it does have the HDMI ports. Unfortunately, the one I have over there, it's not the uh, converter. It's not um, pat compatible with the PS4, Xbox One. So it won't run, but this one is. But this one has an interesting backing surface. And uh, I had to get a special stand so I can stand that upright for my gaming right there. So here we are doing the demonstration on my screen right here this is using nine technology just to show you how amazing our techno technology is sorry about that i'll turn my lights on also to my overhead lights real quick as you can see overhead lights on light is coming directly on top of the screen as you can see look where the projector is sitting screen comes up there's no discoloration around the corners looks absolutely beautiful as it should and i can take my camera Let's go all the way down, show you the angle gain. And this is actually painted on styrofoam. 
get off real quick. Now, one of the things I've pointed out many times before that uh, contrast is everything. I've, I explained this so many times. The contrast is everything. It is much if needed. If you're going to be watching like anything that involves any form of black levels, one of the problems that you're going to have is the fact that a white screen and gray screen do not have the ability to pull a contrast level. They will pull up a shade of um, a shade of gray, but they can't pull up a true black level. So here, let me get my stand here for a minute. Let's put this in here for just a bit. Just want to adjust something really quick. So some of you are still using the white projection screens for your churches or even in ho at home. And you're just not going to be able to get that contrast. And as I said before, contrast is everything when it comes to your screen. So you're just missing so much without that contrast. And it doesn't make a difference if you have a projector that has a 20,000 to 1 contrast ratio. You are not going to be able to see it. I've done this many times before. This is Tron. So you can see what you're getting on one side with the white screen. And on the other side, what you're getting with our technology. And this is gold technology. And so gold has the ability to be able to pull contrast on an amazing level. I can turn my overhead light on. Some people say, well, I'm getting a brighter image. No, you're not getting a brighter image. You're losing a ton of contrast. All this in the background is supposed to be black. Okay. So that background is supposed to be black. This is where your colors fade and wash out because, like I said, light gray screens. And, gray, and white screens do this. They can't give you proper color. That OLED logo is supposed to be black. All right, let me do one more. This off. As I said, when, some, when I use the white piece of paper sometimes, some people will say, well, you know, Ken, um, it's not the same that 
A white piece of paper will never compare to a white screen because a white screen has a 1.0 or a 2.0. Or it has, uh, you know, it just has a better, higher gain than white paper. No, it reacts the same way as white paper really does. They'll tell you it doesn't. It does. So when I do demonstration, so there's light coming directly on top of the screen. There's no light dodging. Virtually impossible. And this is on an outdated 720p projector. No 4K, no 1080p. 720p only. I love doing the floor demonstrations. Sorry, my Chromecast resets from time to time. That's all. I have to go in and find the signal. Come back in. There we go. Beautiful fish. Now, remember when I told you that you could paint or a screen paint on just about every surface. A lot of people can chime in saying, okay, can I paint it on a motorized projection screen? Yes, you can. Can I put it on a fixed frame screen? Can I paint this on a wall? Can I put this on stucco, wood, plexiglass, anything you decide that you want to build your screen out of, you can. Now, this right here, this styrofoam screen, I'm going to be turning this into a kind of low floor platform gaming screen that's what i'm waiting right now for the uh i'm waiting for the stand for the other projector to come in so i can set it up and i also ordered chasers to actually start turning this into a gaming platform this is actually this screen out here is made out of um styrofoam so this is using uh four actually uh each one of these is a square so it's actually uh one two three four five six you know, there's six squares that are all taped together using all purpose masking tape to make this screen right here so this is actually made out of styrofoam and that's what i'm turning my gaming screen into this is my tabletop gaming screen just loading up there we go so this is going to be my tabletop gaming screen Let me turn some more light on in here. So no matter where I go, this image is going to pull up. So now we have the lights on in here, lights on in there. Last but not least, the lights in here. So it's easier to have a screen designed to dodge. When you have a screen set up for dodging light, uh, that's easier to do when the screen is laying flat against the wall because you have, you can direct where you want the light at. If you look at my screens, they all take in a ton of ambient light. No matter where they sit, there's windows light. There's window light all around the screen. For my main screen I have here, my quarantine screen, I have windows here, I have windows here, plenty of light. Look how, for, uh, this is the, uh, Ceiling uh, light generates a lot of light as you can see how bright this area is and then in here in my uh, Theater room I have plenty of light that comes in and then of course 
my screen outside on the deck, which takes in a ton of ambient light. For a minute. There we go. Pretty sure I got sound to this. Let me see. I do. Look at the light that I have coming through my windows. beautiful that looks that's why I said we do demonstrations on a different level and people ask me about my ambient light rejection technology and I said well I tell them look I do all my most people when they're doing demonstrations on their ambient light or uh, I don't know if it's non ambient light rejection but when they're doing demonstrations on ambient light rejection they're always in some environment where that area was designed to accommodate the screen, which means the lights are pushed farther away to give the illusion that the room is well lit. We do ambient light rejection tests outside. There is no way in the world you're escaping that. So, there for a minute. My door. There's some light come in here. This is all on a 720p projector. Now you can look it up the projector. My projector over here is my Epson Powerlite 460. Check it out, the specifications on it. And this is, was designed using, uh, my styrofoam projection screen, as I said before, it's made from uh, different squares all taped together using everyday masking tape. So I was able to build a screen using styrofoam. And let me keep my styrofoam I use for insulating uh, garages and drywall and stuff like that. Look at you kind of some videos here.
think that's my Chromecast. I have a connection issue with this right here. So that comes from the Chromecast and some, a little bit with my internet. All right, so I'm gonna reset this. Turn this away, matter of fact, let this reset. Let's get rid of this. We're gonna take out the styrofoam real quick because this is actually a screen I'm gonna be working on uh, for my new, uh, I'm gonna turn this into my tabletop kind of, uh, it's gonna be a tabletop gaming screen, which I'm working on. I actually already ordered the chasers for that. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Now, I mentioned this before, if you're going to do a, um, a fabric screen, as I have here, all right, best way to do it is to coat the surface uh, first using everyday kind of um, primer. And what that does is it leaves a um, allows the paint for not to absorb through so much. All right, so let me come back here, bring my video back a little bit. All right, there we go. So when I do these fabric screens like this, um, All right, so I do these fabric screens. Let me drop in my, my uh, whatchamacallit for my. Oh, there we go. That's me dropping the uh, fireplace uh, tools. I might have this out all day today. I think I'm gonna have this all, oh, oh, that's the Comcast locking down. Yeah, I gotta get that fixed because there's something wrong with that. There's a signal problem right there. I gotta get that fixed. But I'll get that fixed today and then later on I'll come back in and I'll do some more demonstrations on this one right here. All right, I gotta go. Thank you for your time. And I still have to wait for my other stand to get here from other projector because it's a much more reliable than that one because I don't have to use a converter. Sometimes the converter has some complications with keeping the signal. Uh, so I'm going to have to go in and uh, wait for the stand to come to this one so I can set this one up already. And then I can run my PS4 and Xbox One through that. And we can do some gaming on there because I bought some Bird's Eye View games to actually have some fun with. All right, with that being said, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for your time. Um, so you place your orders, keep in mind, they will be shipping out near the end due to the fact that, like I said, we have to start ordering our, or ordering everything in box, like box and box of everything. So we just have it on hand so we can get ready to get everything out the door and everybody's set up. All right, thank you for your time. And also too, I'm gonna add real quick, one gallon and two gallons are not available anymore on the website, they're out of stock. The reason why it makes it easier for the carriers to be able to pick up our items, we try to make it easier on them. Also too, those of you who have contracts with us, um, you're gonna have to keep it minimum, minimum, please. All right, so um, uh, also, like I said, with uh, the only thing we have available on the site that you can buy, and like I said, it'll do a big enough screen. We have the one quart 
which will paint 100 inch, which that's 100 inch, to 120 inch, which I have out there on the deck. Well, this is actually around almost near 120 inches right here. And then we have the two quarts that will paint 100 inch to 150 inches. And this is 150 inch screen 69. For those of you who are curious, the size of the screen is 150 inches. All right, thank you for your time. I have to go and God bless.